Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe and share my videos as it'll help you to prepare for both Saru and ELR exams. TFL expects all licensed drivers to offer Londoners and visitors a professional and safe service. Providing excellent customer service is an important part being a London PHV driver. This section explains how TFL expects drivers to behave towards passengers and other road users. Please remember, PHV drivers must provide an excellent, professional and safe service to all Londoners and visitors. You'll learn more about it in this section. Possible questions. 1. What does TFL expects from all PHV drivers? A. Offer Londoners and visitors a professional and safe service. B. Offer drinks to all passengers. C. Help them carrying their stuff inside their house. D. Keep them entertained. Correct answer. A. Offer Londoners and visitors a professional and safe service. Complaints. It is important that each time a passenger gets into a PHV they receive a high quality of service from their private hire driver. Operators must keep details of all complaints made to them. Operators must report to the police any complaints that involve possible crimes, so that they can be investigated. Although your operator will normally deal with complaints, passengers might contact the police or TFL directly. They might also contact TFL if they are not satisfied with the way the operator has dealt with their complaint. In these cases, TFL may carry out its own investigation. If TFL does investigate a complaint that relates to you, we will provide you with the details of the complaint and ask for your comments. As soon as you have had the opportunity to respond to the complaint and TFL has made any other necessary inquiries, TFL will tell you the result of that investigation. Remember, TFL can only make a decision based on the information we receive, so it is important you respond to all our requests for information. If a serious complaint is made against you, or if there are a number of complaints, or there appears to be a pattern of poor behavior and all the ways to improve your behavior have been tried but have failed, TFL may have to suspend or revoke your license. Important to provide high quality service to all passengers. Despite your efforts passengers may not be satisfied with the service you provided and may complain to your operator. Your operator must keep details of all complaints. If any criminal activities involves, it must be reported to police for further investigation. Passengers may also send their complaints to police or TFL if they are not satisfied with your operator's outcome. TFL may carry out their own investigation and if they do, they'll give you the opportunity to explain your side of story. You must respond to their emails or letters. If it's a serious or persisting complaints, TFL may take licensing action against you and revoke your license. Possible questions. 1. It is important that each time a passenger gets into a PHV they select the correct statement from below. A. Receive a handbook stating the insurance policy you have in order to carry out a PHV job. B. Receive a high quality of service from their private hire driver. C. Receive bottle waters. D. None of the above. Correct answer. B. Receive a high quality of service from their private hire driver. Possible ELR question. Fill the gap. 2. Operators must details of all complaints to them. Possible words. Keeps, kept, keep. Made, makes, make. Correct words. Keep, made. 3. What your operator must do if any complaints involve possible crimes. A. Investigate it internally and take action against the driver. B. Report driver to TFL. C. Must report this to police, so that it can be investigated. D. Just keep a record of this on your operator's file and refrain sending the same driver to this job in future. Correct answer. C. Must report this to police, so that it can be investigated. 4. What would TFL do if they receive a complaint about a PHV driver? A. TFL will forward it to your operator to investigate. B. TFL will forward your details to the police for further investigation. C. TFL will carry out their own investigation. They will write to you and ask for your comments. D. TFL will not take this further as they don't have the resources. Correct answer. C. 
TFL will carry out their own investigation. They will write to you and ask for your comments. Possible ELR question. Fill the gap. 5. TFL can only make a decision on the information we receive, so it is important you to all our requests for information. Possible words. Base. Basis. Based. Response. Respond. Responded. Correct words. Based. Respond. What action TFL may take against a PHV driver if they receive a serious complaint against them? A. TFL may have to suspend or revoke your license. B. TFL may forward your details to the police for investigation. C. TFL may report this to your operator. D. TFL may ignore this and let you carry on working. Correct answer. A. TFL may have to suspend or revoke your license. Unacceptable behavior. As a PHV driver, you offer an extremely important service to the traveling public. You have a responsibility to make sure your passengers feel safe when they travel in your vehicle. The way that you interact with them will affect the way they will feel about their journey with you. It is important that you are professional and deal with passengers in a way that makes them feel at ease. You should never use a passenger's personal contact details to start communicating with them about anything other than the book journey. Contacting a passenger for personal or social reasons is unacceptable and a misuse of the passenger's personal information. You should never make comments or jokes about someone's age, race, religion, disability, sexual orientation or gender identity. Drivers who behave in an unacceptable way will have action taken against them by TFL and all the PHV driver provide an important service to traveling public. It is important to provide a professional service, make sure your passengers are safe and comfortable in your vehicle. You should never use passengers' personal contact details to communicate with them about anything other than the booking details. You must not interact with them for social reasons. You should never make any remarks about a person's age, race, religion, disability, sexual orientation or gender identity. If you fail and behave in an unacceptable way, TFL and or police will take action against you. 1. As a PHV driver, you have a responsibility to make sure, please select correct statements from below. A. Your passengers feel safe when they travel in your vehicle. B. You are professional and deal with passengers in a way that makes them feel at ease. C. Offer them drinks. D. None of the above. Correct answers. A. Your passengers feel safe when they travel in your vehicle. B. You are professional and deal with passengers in a way that makes them feel at ease. A. Help a passenger with their luggage and help them get into your vehicle. B. Park on a single yellow line to pick up passengers. C. Stop at a red traffic light. D. Use a passenger's personal contact details to start communicating with them about anything other than the book journey. Correct answer. D. Use a passenger's personal contact details to start communicating with them about anything other than the book journey. 3. You should never make comments or jokes about what with passengers? Select correct answers. A. Someone's age. B. Race, religion, disability. C. Sexual orientation or gender identity. D. All the above. Correct answer. D. All the above, someone's age race, religion, disability, sexual orientation or gender identity. Possible ELR question. Fill the gap. 4. Drivers who behave in an unacceptable way will action against them by TFL and or the police. Possible words. Had, have, has. Taken, take, taking. Correct words. Have. Other than in an emergency, you must not get into the back seat of your vehicle while you have passengers on board. If you get into the back seat, you risk making your passengers uncomfortable and your actions may be misunderstood or considered inappropriate. If your passenger is seriously ill, you should call the emergency services on 999 immediately. You should not try to physically check the passenger or administer first aid yourself unless you are following the instructions of the emergency services or a medical professional, or you have had appropriate first aid or medical training. 
If your passenger is ill, or has a disability, and asks you to help them enter or leave your vehicle, make sure you check exactly what help they are asking you for, for example to take hold of your arm to support them. Keep any physical contact to the minimum required to give the help your passenger asks for. Please remember, you must not get in the back seat of your vehicle while passengers on board unless it's an emergency. It may make your passengers uncomfortable and they may misunderstand your actions. If passengers seriously injured or ill you must call emergency services on 999. You must not physically check or administer first aid unless you are a certified first aider or instructed by the emergency services or medical personnel. You may help a passenger if they are physically unable to get in and out of your vehicle but only if they ask to do so. You must listen to their exact request and try keeping physical contact to minimal. Possible questions. 1. When are you not allowed to go to the back seat of your vehicle? A. When you are off duty. B. While you waiting for a passenger. C. While you have passengers on board. D. Never allowed to go to the back seats. Correct answer. C. While you have passengers on board. 2. What action you must take in case your passengers seriously ill? A. Drive quickly and drop them to their destination. B. Offer them to drive to a hospital. C. Stop your vehicle quickly and try physically help them. D. You should call emergency service on 999 immediately. Correct answer. D. You should call emergency service on 999 immediately. 3. When can you administer first aid yourself to a passenger? A. If you feel it's needed. B. If you were instructed by emergency services or a medical professional or if you are an approved first aider. C. If your operator asks you to do so. D. Never. Correct answer. B. If you were instructed by emergency services or a medical professional or if you are an approved first aider. 4. When can you physically assist a passenger? A. If you notice your passengers struggling to get in or out of your vehicle. B. If you were instructed by your operator. C. If your passenger is blind. D. Only if they ask you to assist them. You must make sure exactly what help they are asking for. Correct answer. D. Only if they ask you to assist them. You must make sure exactly what help they are asking for. Possible ELR question. Fill the gap. 5. Keep any physical contact to the minimum to give the help your passenger asks for. Possible words. Requires. Require. Required. Correct word. Required. Unacceptable sexual behavior. No type of sexual behavior between you and a passenger is ever acceptable, even if both of you agree to it. TFL takes this issue extremely seriously. TFL or the police will fully investigate all complaints and reports, and they will take appropriate action. You will lose your license if you are found to have acted in an unsuitable way towards a passenger. You should never comma look at or speak to a passenger in a way that makes them feel uncomfortable, for example staring at any part of their body, comma make any sexual remarks or comments about a passenger's appearance or clothing, comma engage in conversation of a sexual nature. This includes asking questions about someone's sex life or telling sexual jokes. Comma touch a passenger in an unacceptable way. You should avoid any physical contact with a passenger unless completely necessary such as helping a person who needs assistance into your vehicle, to reduce any misunderstanding or complaints against you. Touching someone without their permission could be a sexual assault and will be investigated by the police. Comma suggest having sex with a passenger. Comma offer or accept sex or sexual activity in place of affair. Comma take part in sexual activity of any kind with a passenger, even if both you and the passenger agree to it or the passenger suggests it. Comma watch, display or share pornographic or sexual pictures, or any other sexual material. Comma commit any other sexual offense. Your passengers expect to be treated in an appropriate way. Think about your actions and how they might affect a passenger. Avoid any behavior that might be understood as being sexual, no matter how good your intentions are or how harmless you think your behavior is. Please remember, 
There should be no sexual activity or conversation between you and your passenger even if both agree to it. You should always treat your passenger in an appropriate manner. You should refrain from looking at them inappropriately, never make any sexual jokes, share sexual materials, ask for sex in exchange of fare or touch passenger in an inappropriate way, even if you and passenger agree or suggest to it. Think about your actions, avoid doing anything that may be considered a sexual no matter how good your intentions or harmless your behavior is. This is a serious issue and if you get reported you will lose your license and investigated by TFL and police. Possible questions. 1. Select the correct statements from below. A. Sexual behavior between you and passenger is acceptable if both of you mutually agree to it. B. It okay to share sexual content with your passenger if they ask for it. C. Consensual sexual act is allowed between you and passenger as adults. D. No type of sexual behavior between you and a passenger is ever acceptable, even if both of you agree to it. Correct answer. D. No type of sexual behavior between you and a passenger is ever acceptable, even if both of you agree to it. Possible ELR question. Fill the gap. 2. TFL this issue extremely seriously. Possible words. Taking. Taking. Takes. Correct word. Takes. 3. What will be the consequences if you acted in an unsuitable way towards a passenger? A. TFL or the police will fully investigate all complaints and reports, and they will take appropriate action. B. TFL will contact your operator and ask them to remove you from their platform. C. TFL will send you a warning letter and let you carry on. D. Nothing as it's an issue between two adults. Correct answer. A. TFL or the police will fully investigate all complaints and reports, and they will take appropriate action. 4. You should never, select correct statements from below. A. Make any sexual remarks or comments about a passenger's appearance or clothing. B. Offer or accept sex or sexual activity in place of a fare. C. Commit any other sexual offense. D. Offer water to your passenger. Correct answers. A. Make any sexual remarks or comments about a passenger's appearance or clothing. B. Offer or accept sex or sexual activity in place of a fare. C. Commit any other sexual offense. 5. What does your passenger expect from you as a PHV driver? A. Offer them drinks while in your vehicle. B. Carry their luggages into their property. C. Offer them alternative service. D. Treat them in an appropriate way. Correct answer. D. Treat them in an appropriate way. This is end of lesson 6. Please subscribe to my channel for further videos.